Sometimes I stop and seriously think about all the history that has happened right where I'm standing and I lose my mind a little bit. That'll be $7.99? No, but really, short people are like so mean, dude. I got a lot of short friends and they kind of scare me. Us tall people are so nice and soft-hearted and everyone always picks on us for being tall and we're like, yeah. Short people will easily start planning a murder if you pick on them. It's because they're closer to hell. Dude, cargo shorts are one of the ugliest clothes ever invented, next to overalls. Cargo shorts are useful when you're meeting a white bear in the desert and have to carry gun oil, condoms, weed, a crawler of craft beer, and your 3DS XL with Pokemon Moon, so... Just carry a purse? Oh, hey, man, what's up? Oi, lad, let's go for a monk cheerio, mate. Wanna have a cheeky Pokemon for you later? Please, please, please don't hurt me. Dude, why does old English look like sh posting? What's poppin', Jimbo? That's a thorn. That little half B, half P looking abomination makes the th sound. That says thickness. That is sh posting. All right, who the f discovered time travel in 2019? I know it says 2017, but let's stay relevant here, okay? Okay. The other night, I tried to make curry and I got chili burns all over my face. So I thought to myself, hang on, doesn't milk soothe chili burns? It does. And I couldn't Google because I couldn't see it. So I just had to blindly feel my way to the fridge and pour out a bowl of milk and then plant my face in the bowl of milk. Anyway, at the point, the rice cooker went off and triggered a power surge, which turned my electricity off, which I didn't notice at first because I had my face in a bowl of milk. And when I did emerge from my dairy prison, I thought I'd gone blind with chili burns. So I don't really cook much. Damn, that's a journey. Yo, shout out to all the black and white cats named Oreo, all the orange tabbies named Tiger, all the gray cats named Smokey, all the black cats named Shadow, and all the calico cats named Patches. Oh, and how could I forget the white cats named Snowball? Shout out to all the white cats named Snowball. My god. Brr, black this boat and I will instantly teleport to your home and gobble up your shower curtain, brr. My, my shower curtain is glass. Well, crunchity munchity done, you think that will stop me? He is fish after all. I am so confused and also scared. <laughs> Baby steps. One of us only tells lies. And only one of us tells the truth. You may ask one question. Who is a good boy? Oh, God damn it! A single Japanese radish gives enough energy to a human being to walk 28 feet. And the second radish is 29 feet away. Y'all don't want a pretty girl to stomp on you. You want a long and drawn out sword fight with flirty banter. Quit saying you want her to hit you with a truck. You want her to do the thing where she gently lifts your chin with her sword while your heart pounds out of your chest. And at the end, when she has pinned you against the wall with her blade to her throat, you want a heart-rending confession with hiss declarations of your undying affection and for her to finally throw her weapon to the side and pull you into a passionate yet tender kiss. Stop lying. I, I think LP might be rejecting a bit. You show your mouth right this minute. So, what happens if you die in D&D? Do you just stop coming to the sessions? You die in real life. It's true. I've been dead about three times now. Man, y'all really let Kyle collect all six infinity monsters? Shaking my head. Now he'll be strong enough to punch a hole in half of all the drywall in existence. What a shame.